I'm going to show you how to insert a photo with alt text and also how to share this document using um, the, the option to share with editing rights. So you've done the assignment tasks one and two. I didn't do them for you here, but what you'll see just to refresh is we've done use the accessibility. So this is a heading level one and these you'll notice are heading level two. So that's the first part of this assignment, showing the accessibility. Now we're going to insert a photograph. So what you can do is you go to Insert, Image, Upload from Computer. And let's find a picture. So here, what have I got? Oh, here's a picture here of me. So I'm going to click on that to open it. And it inserts the image. Now let's make it smaller because it's way too big and it doesn't need to be general rule of thumb for me is inserting a picture is make it big enough so that people can see what it is and no bigger because you don't want them to have to scroll a lot all right so we've got the picture there now what you do is you click on the image to select it and then you do um, a, a right click if you're on a windows computer and if you're on a mac you click with two fingers when you click with two fingers on the image what it does is it brings up this box which allows you to select the alt text. So I'm going to click on alt text and here is the alt text button. Um, and so I can say Helen in Alaska is actually the title, but the description should be something that a person who is using a screen reader um, has gives them an equivalent experience as if they could see it. So they, what I will describe is, um, I'll put a Helen holding a large camera uh, while standing on deck of a ship, a glacier in the back Around behind um, let's say a large camera um, on the deck of a ship, a glacier in the background behind her. And that is what the alt text is. And so I'm going to say OK. Now, I can't see the alt text, and anybody looking at this without a screen reader can't see the alt text either. However, a person who is um, blind or visually impaired using a screen reader, when the screen reader opens this page, it will read to the person who's blind or visually impaired what the alt text is and thus enable them to um, experience rather by hearing rather than seeing what the image is. So in order for me to be able to see your alt text, I actually have to have editing rights to this document. So what you will do when you click to share with me, you will type my email address as usual. But this time, um, what you want to make sure is that you have given me editing rights. In the past, it's been commenting rights. Okay.